Back in the year 2011, my pops and I were working on a Chevy Silverado. Whenever I was younger, I always helped my dad in the garage with anything mechanically so that we, he would have an extra set of hands. Whenever he told me we were going to be changing the oil and oil filter in his car, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit shooken up. I had absolutely no clue how to even start this task, and I was supposed to help somehow. After my dad explained the whole situation and the process that, processes that needed to be done, I realized that this was a pretty simple thing to do to your automobile. I believe that a lot of people who are not exactly the best engineer can relate and even learn from this story. According to the AAA, you should have your oil change every five to 7,000 miles. This means that this is a, a, freak, a pretty frequent procedure that, will, that you might as well just need, you might as well know how to do by yourself to save you some money. I will be covering the mandatory steps for changing your car or truck's oil, which includes preparation, execution, and evaluation. Before you can properly change your oil and oil filter, you will need to prepare yourself with the proper tools in an adequate workspace. First, you are going to need a space with plenty of room and a space where you're not afraid for oil to get spilled. Once you have found the proper space, you will need to get the necessary tools and supplies to complete the project. To fully change your oil and oil filter, you will need the following. A drain pan, a tarp, which is optional according to the space you are working in, the correct wrench and socket size according to the size of your drain bolt, and of course your new oil and oil filter. Once you have all the necessary equipment and your workspace is cleared, you may now begin draining your oil. One key to, cha to changing your oil is to let your car run for about a minute so that you can warm up the oil just enough so that it will flow easily out of the drain hole. This is a tip that I learned from the uh, oil filter brand Napa and their excellent, excellent team of engineers. Once you, have done, once you have done this, you can now go onto the car jack it up if needed, and locate the oil pan. This is normally located right behind the front wheels towards the middle of the chassis. Once you have, I one identifying factor is a large bolt sort of stick, sticking out of the middle of the pan. Once you have, once you have located the drain plug, be mindful of this step, like once you have located it, you may now begin taking it out, but be careful taking it out because once you, reach the end of the threads, a whole bunch of oil is going to be come spilling out. As it's draining from your car into the drain pan you place under the car, you can now locate the oil filter. In most, in most cars, this is located in close proximity to the oil, the, to the oil drain hole. The oil filter should look like a, should resemble a can of soda. Once this is located and the oil has completed draining, you can unscrew the oil filter with your hand. It should be hand tight from the factory. After this, it is time to put the new oil in. For this, you will need to screw the drain plug back in as well as your new oil filter. Before putting the new oil filter on, however, you should fill the new oil filter approximately three fourths of the way full of oil. Filling this will, doing, doing this will um, help the oil filter be properly lubricated. Once your drain plug and oil filter are in, you can remove the drain pan full of oil from underneath your car instead of the side. Then you need to pop your hood and locate the, the port where you're gonna put your oil into your engine. And this should be a screw on cap with, all, with, the oil la like, with the oil label imprinted on it. I mean, you may then take it off and fill your car with the proper oil and to the amount that is specified in your owner's manual. Once you are done filling up your car with the new oil, you are done with the execution procedure. The only thing left to do now is check over your work. To do this, um, simply start up your car and let it run for a couple seconds. Then, or well, a couple, not a couple seconds, a couple minutes. After a couple minutes, if no unusual noises happen or nothing crazy happens, then you may then locate your dipstick. The dipstick is a tiny little handle near the port where you put your oil. Once you located this, you may pull it out, wipe it off with a um, paper towel, and then stick it back in until the handle is just barely, just barely in the hole. Then once they pull it out and check